So we're here at the Harding booth. Pat's going to show me uh, some of the inside parts, just to give you an idea of those who care. Yep. So what we have here um, are the guts of what's inside the Mika. The Mika is a very unique modular design that's actually three circuit boards that are uh, connected together over a, a common USB interface. So it's very modular in that sense. So we have one board over here that's typically reserved for the operational technology, the serial interfaces, the, the connection that's actually talking to the machines or the sensors. We have a processing unit in the middle um, with a uh, ARM processor, one gigahertz, uh, as well as a dual core, 1.3 gigahertz processor. And then we have another interface uh, on the right side that's traditionally used for connecting to the IT network. So we have ethernet capability, and we also have a new module that's for wireless and LTE connectivity. Um, what makes this unique is that you can, it's really a hardware platform that you can build off of for extremely rugged applications. Uh, we work with a lot of partners that develop these custom function modules if they have some sort of vertical expertise uh, that calls for a specific protocol, a uh, specific piece of maybe wireless technology. They can develop this piece of the board, plug it into this um, this template that we have, and suddenly they have an IP67 water dustproof device um, that can do edge analytics and push things to the cloud um, very easily. So it reduces the cost of developing that level of certification, certified device. So a small footprint, but basically there's a range of uh, three or four different sizes based on needs. Right, correct. So we have um, a few modules in stock, the, the base modules. This, this one is just for Ethernet capability. This one has USB uh, ports as well as Wi-Fi and LTE. Um, because of the modular design, you can mix and match these different boards, which makes it very flexible to, to create the Mika variant that best suits your needs. And this one right here is our RFID module, which is very popular because you can have that logic for translating um, the RFID signals directly at the edge on that machine so you can immediately react to that info without having to send it back to the cloud or send it back to a backend database. All that processing can happen right there. Uh, perfect for asset tracking applications. Great. So I see, I hear modularity is really huge with carding and it's kind of becoming streamlined with uh, all the product lines. Is that something you're finding too with Han and and the other board level connectors too is, is also applying to Mika? Absolutely. Uh, modularity has been a fundamental core of what Harding is and it started with the Han connector. It allows you to have that deep level of certification for environmental protection, but also the flexibility of being able to, to cater to different applications, and that's what you see in industrial. Um, so all the way from Han um, into the connectors, and then through the Mika, we showcase that modularity, and we're, we're going to keep pushing it. Thanks, Pat.